So here we're looking at the cosine rule and we're looking at trying to find the size of a missing angle using the cosine rule. The cosine rule is on page 16 in your formula tables and it's written as, so cosine rule is a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2 times b times c times cos a. So I'm using brackets there to denote multiplication. It's very important when you're filling in your formula that you start with the angle A and the corresponding side A. They're the most important two to get correct. So when I'm coming over to this question, they're asking me to find the size of the angle or QP. So they're basically getting me to find the size of the angle Q. So I'm going to call the angle Q my angle A. So I'm just changing the name of it there. And the side corresponding to the angle is the side across from it, which is 12, which is my lowercase a. My b and my c are the other two sides. It doesn't matter which one you call b and which one you call c. I'm going to call the 14 the b and the 20 my c. But it's up to you which one is b and c. I'm now coming back over here and I'm going to fill in my formula. And I'm going to fill in my a as 12. And don't forget that it's squared. And that is equal to my b, which is 14, I'm just going to put them in brackets here, plus my c, and my c is 20, all to be squared, minus 2 times b, which is 2 times 14, times my 20, which is my c, times my cos a, and the a is what I need to find. I don't know the size of that angle. That's what the question is asking me to solve for. I'm just going to do some maths now, and I'm going to do 12 by 12, which is 12 squared, which is giving me 144. I'm then doing 14 by 14. 14 squared is 196. 20 by 20 is 400. And now I'm going to go and do 2 multiplied by 14 multiplied by 20. And that is giving me 560. And that is being multiplied by cos of A. Okay, a little bit of tidying up now. So I have 144 is equal to, I'm now just going to add 196 and 400 together. So I get 596 minus 560 times my cos of my angle. Now, this is the bit that can catch people out in an exam situation. Just make sure that you don't go 596 minus 560. The reason for that is that the 560 is stuck to the bracket here. So it's being multiplied. And if you remember, you need to follow your rules of BIMDAS or BOMDAS, which states that I need to do brackets before I do multiplication or subtraction. So subtraction comes last. So I need to do the multiplication before I do subtraction. So that's why you're not taking them away from each other. So what I'm going to do basically is, I'm going to isolate the numbers. So I'm going to bring the numbers to the left-hand side and the cos A on the right-hand side. So depending on how you do this yourself, you're adding, or sorry, you're subtracting 596 from both sides, or in other words, you're basically moving over the 596 to the other side of the equals. So I have 144, subtract the 596 from both sides and that's equal to minus 560 times my cos of my angle okay so that's the important line there some as i said people can get stuck with the subtraction uh, too early i'm now going to take these away from each other so 144 minus 596 is giving me negative 452 is equal to negative 560 cos of my angle. I now need to get cos angle on its own, so I'm going to divide across by minus 560. Again, think of it as something maybe simple like this. 10 is equal to 2x, x is equal to 10 divided by 2. So I'm dividing across by 2. So keep it simple. So here, if I divide across by minus 560, that is giving me minus 452 all over minus 560 is equal to cos of my angle. If I do minus divided by minus, I get a positive, and I'm just going to write that as a decimal. So if you go to your calculator and go minus 452 divided by minus 560, 
you get 0 0.807. So 0 0.807, I'm going to three decimal places, which is equal to cos of my angle. I now need to isolate the A on its own. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find the cos inverse of 0 0.807. So in other words, what I'm doing now is I'm basically moving over the cos. So it's like I'm moving it over. And when the cos comes over, it becomes cos inverse or cos with the minus one. So it's cos inverse. Just put that little negative one above it of 0 0.807 and that is equal to my angle A. And you now go to your calculator and if you're using a Casio you hit the shift button so you just make sure that you're going for the inverse cos so it's shift cos and then you type in 0 0.807 hit your equals and that is giving me an angle of 36.196 so 36 Point one nine six degrees is equal to a and again if the question said to give it to one decimal or the nearest whole number so therefore if i'm going to the nearest whole number the angle a is equal to 36 degrees and again just refer back to the question they didn't call it a they called it q so i'm just going to go 36 degrees is equal to the angle or a uh, q p because remember that's how the question was asked up here and that's our cosine rule to find the size of the missing angle. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.